I'm going to show you six upcycled thrift store finds. You're not going to want to miss a second of this one. Our first project today is this wooden charger I got from the thrift store. I have a few of them and I'm finally getting around to using them all up. We're going to take some air dry clay, two molds, we're going to make some wings and a timepiece. Glue those on. For best results, you're going to want to let this dry completely. I usually leave it overnight. I did two coats of white swan and then I used vintage pink on the wings and the timepiece. Once that was all dry, I clear waxed the entire piece. I'm using black wax. You're going to put it on, wipe it off using either a paper towel or a baby wipe. It really depends on how much black you want left. I want mostly in nooks and crannies. Do you see how it really makes the mold pop? The Wings and Feathers mold is one of the most popular. Whenever I put this on something, it sells very quickly. All right, this is how I styled it. This little cutie is from the thrift store as well. I gave it two coats of white swan. If you look here, you can see the brown marks. That is bleed through. You can keep covering that up, but that will keep continuing to bleed through your paint. Now, because I'm going to distress this, I'm just gonna distress that spot right out, and it's gone. Never happened. Well, it did happen, but only you and I know that. No one else has to know. So you're going to take some clear wax. I'm going to rub that all over, let that sit overnight, and then buff it out in the morning. I'm going to add a fabric flower to this. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you in this video how to make this flower. I'm going to attach that on and this is how it looks now. I always see these at the thrift store. They're little glass candle holders. I painted it in white swan, I distressed it with a baby wipe, and I clear waxed it. We're gonna glue on some of the plates to the candle holders, and you can use these for so many things, jewelry holders, a cake plate, really anything goes here. And I love finding these little plates, like that little dish was 25 cents, it was 50 cents for the candle holder. I mean, for under a dollar, how cute is this? For the list of all the products that I'm using here today, you can find it in a single link below this video. We're gonna make another pedestal. I'm gonna show you how you can take this napkin and decoupage the bottom of the plate. I'm using liquid patina, apply that to the bottom of the plate, and then I put the good side of the napkin down onto the plate, add a little bit more liquid patina, remove the excess, and let it dry. If you are enjoying this video and finding value, I would love it if you can give it a thumbs up and do stay tuned to the end because we play a little game with an emoji. So at this point, you could either leave it just like it is, it looks very nice with the translucent look, or you could paint it. Now because I'm adding it to this glassware that I'm not painting, you would have seen the glue. So I went ahead and I painted the whole entire back of the plate. I used the all-in-one so it has a sealer and everything in it. Let that dry. We're going to attach it onto this pedestal. I'm really not quite sure what that pedestal is, but as it turns out, that pedestal is crystal. It is super, super heavy. And I did not realize that was crystal until I banged it and heard the little ding. So there you go. You never know what you're going to find at the thrift store.
As promised, I'm going to show you how to make this flower out of fabric. Now the fabric is important for this project because you want something that is very thin and sheer. Because we're going to use heat to curl up the edges. You're going to cut out about three different sizes and I would say about four or five of each size. Anywhere from the small, medium and large. Now you're going to have a bucket of water beside you. Safety first because we are taking the flame to some material. Now you're not going to touch the material with the flame. All you're doing is hovering it over and it, the heat will start to curl the material and make it look like a petal. I cut out a circle about the size of a quarter and you're going to start with the largest and go to the smallest and you're going to put a little bit of glue, some petals, glue, petals. You're just going to keep building it up. The more you use, the more full your flower will be. Once you're happy with how many petals you have, I hot glued it on to my little desk and here's the flower. The emoji today is a donut. Drop the donut in the comments below. That lets me know that it was you that watched this video all the way to the end. If you'd like to see more, there are two videos on the screen right now. And don't forget to let me know which project today was your favorite.